with a high speed train. Or load it onto a truck and smash it into a concrete wall. No matter what you do, this container is not going to break. It's called a nuclear flask. And back in the late 70s and early 80s, these solid steel 50 ton containers went through a series of trials to prove they could safely transport nuclear waste. This trial puts a flask on a flatbed truck. The unmanned vehicle is propelled down the test track by two rockets. Then, at 60 miles per hour, it smashes headlong into a concrete wall. The flasks appear to be indestructible, so they decide to up the stakes. This time, a rocket-powered truck slams into the wall at 84 miles per hour. Remarkably, the flask still survives, even though it destroys everything surrounding it. But now the flask will undergo its most severe test yet. For this trial, a high-speed locomotive will plow into the container. The flask is rested on the center of the railroad tracks. And nearly nine miles away, an unmanned train is set in motion. The train accelerates down the tracks and reaches 100 miles per hour. It pulls only three coaches, but this setup provides the same dynamics as a large passenger train. Finally, the train reaches its target. tremendous impact destroys the train. As for the flask, a pressure test reveals that it is structurally intact. A comforting thought for those who live along the routes where radioactive waste is transported. In fact, these tests have proven the nuclear flask to be virtually indestructible. As of today, not one radioactive leak or accident has occurred while transporting nuclear waste inside these robust containers.